Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in New Zealand. Yes, we are back. And this week is going to be filled with content from New Zealand and, of course, my UK slash British build city, Blighty on the Wold. All the mods and our working again, all the ones that I use anyway. So, yeah, look out for that. And first of all, we're going to name our airport. The top voted name... Uh, was from Dr. Doodle. Thank you very much, Dr. Doodle. And the name that was voted was, let's come into here, was T-Throw. T-Throw International Airport. Of course, if you don't know, play on the words T and Heathrow, a well-known airport here in England. Yes, very cool. So we now have our airport names. Now, today... We are going to be moving away from this airport over here and we are going to be looking at some of the cargo airport stuff which we are going to put over here i asked you what you thought about doing that whether to sort of add it to that island up there or to put it in a new spot uh, over here and remove our old airport and i think most of the people and myself included i get a few votes as well said to put it over here and to remove this old one so that is what we are going to do today but just before we dive into doing that let's check out what hugo is up to with a word from our sponsors nordvpn hugo is moving to the country yes the british countryside isn't it so beautiful and he's even been given a brand new company car so he's ready to set up all the new citizens with nordvpn so if you want to secure your internet connection while on public Wi-Fi, watch your favorite TV shows while abroad and block malware-ridden websites, then NordVPN is for you. With NordVPN, like Hugo, you can have a fast and secure roadway to your destination. With over 5,400 super fast servers in 59 countries, you can be fast and safe traveling the internet no matter where you are or where you want to get to. To get NordVPN, go to nordvpn.com slash biffer and use the coupon code biffer. And for every purchase of a two-year plan, you get one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Well, the citizens are ready to use the internet safely and quickly thanks to Hugo and, of course, NordVPN. Right, let's get stuck into this. Let's just pause the game and this old, what did we name this one? The Metropolitan Airport. Didn't quite roll off the tongue as much that one, did it? Uh, is going to be deleted. And apparently, if you delete that, it leaves all of this here. Well, that's just weird, isn't it? Because <laughs> all of this is part of that. And I can't actually uh, delete it. Oh, very, very strange, very strange. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to use the Move It mod. And we should be able to get rid of most of this. If I set this to nodes, yeah, there we go. Set this to nodes and try not to delete anything I don't want to lose. That seems like a little bit of a bug to me. I shall pass that on. Unless that's something that I'm doing wrong because of the mods I've got or something. I don't know. I don't know, but it's solved. There we go. It's gone. And then, what have we got down here? So we've got taxi stuff down here, which the game barely uses anyway. You might as well just get rid of that. And you can go, you can go, and you can go. There's our power coming in. And I'm just wondering whether just all of this can go. We've got a part, we've got, do you know what? It is, it's all going to go. You know, I could use the movie mod to do this, but I just absolutely love the sound of things being deleted. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is pretty much everything gone and that little car park there. Cool beans. Right, let's just clear up some of this that we've got in here. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we've got plenty of space. I've accidentally left a bus line in there, which is probably never going to get deleted again. Oh, it is. There we go. Easy. And we've got our helicopter route here as well there we go i think that's pretty much it we'll remove this district that's here and we'll remove that airport that's there these trees are all going to go as well Ooh, that is pretty big uh, that is still pretty big let's drop that down here there we go we're going to remove i say we're going to remove all of the trees up to the roundabout like that and it looks like there's a few rocks there let's grab those oh i deleted them 
Oh no, they're still there. I thought I'd accidentally just... Oh, I think they've gone. Darn it. No more save the rocks. And finally, we have a metro stop over here. Let's delete that one as well. Let's get rid of this. We'll probably make use of that at some point. But I think for now, that should be okay. So let's have a look at what options we've got here. Now in our cargo airport section, public transport, air cargo. Excellent. So we have the air port cargo train station and we also have the cargo airport terminal where the cars and the trucks coming in now if we have a look at what we've got here we've got excellent access to this main highway that runs all the way through to our main industry area so there should be no problem with people coming from all parts of new zealand over to here so definitely this road here which at the moment is set up with monorail let's just move that is that going to go in there if i anarchy that in and we'll just sort of hope they can duck underneath there excellent and then we're going to switch over to let's have a look this large seems too big to me that one let's grab this one and we'll bring that in nice and straight down here and then we'll hook this one where's our train line in here so we've got our train line running from the outside of the city running up to the top we could bring a spur off down here and i'm just wondering actually if we should decide which way our airport is going to face our runways are going to face let's just paint oh darn it i forgot about the land there we go let's just be careful there we go let's smooth this out on the edge here a tiny touch yeah, so just looking at the lay of the land, of course, we've got our mountain range here and we've got our city there. We've got more mountains here. So ov uh, overtaking, taking off, going this direction and going this direction would seem more realistic to me. I'm wondering sort of how far over we could get if it was there. That would sort of feed through the middle. They could get around the outside. Whether that's long enough for a runway there. Lots of comments on the length of the runway on this one. It makes me laugh. I do a, do a runway short in another video. Too short. Do a nice long runway. Too long. And then I look up online the exact lengths that you need for the type of planes that we're using. And this still isn't long enough. And it's like, no, that's not right. That, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. It's like, okay, experts, <laughs> whatever you say. So if I went, let's say, along here somewhere, I think. Although along here might be good because it's just, I mean, if we went something like that. And then they can sort of take up and veer away from there. And then if they're coming in to land, they're coming in this direction. Yeah, I think that will be okay. We'll go with something like that. Um, which then means we need our taxiway. And I tend to like our taxiway going the opposite direction from here. So if we just go out 10, go all the way along. And what you can do as well, it's worth keeping in mind that we know the planes. If they come onto the runway here... They are literally going to try and take off on whatever bit of runway they've got. So if you have this coming in, they're going to come here, take off there, and it looks silly. So if you make them go in at the other end, they will have to go more or less the whole length before they take off. That's That will be the best way to do it, in my honest opinion. Okay, so let's take a look with our cargo airport terminal first of all. We're going to want to switch this around the other way. So our roads here are going to want to change. If I turn Anarchy off. Yeah, see, this big bit sticking out here is also a road. So I'm thinking that's really going to want to be up over here somewhere like that. And then on the back of that, I'd also like our airport cargo train station. That can butt up against that road, which I don't know whether that's a good idea. That is a very, very small road. So I'm thinking we might bring our line in over here and connect this mm, i don't know actually let's give it a go let's pop that in the front yeah let's pop that in the front and see how that goes so now we want to add to this space the plane stands and we've got myrtle international airport in here got any better names that we can have for our cargo airport setup now there we go that is a question let me know in the comments below what you think about that there we go so that is our road coming in uh, let's have a look. This is definitely going to be extended out, but we need to leave some room for ourselves. Otherwise, we are going to be we're going to be stuck. So we've got the cargo aircraft stand, and they will place against these roads here like this. 
I'm just wondering whether... How many could I fit out there? If I fit two there... And two over there. They're lined up. And then what I'd like to do is do the same opposite this. But I'm going to need space in here for our taxiways. So let's just see what we can come up with. So if I go to there like that, uh, just ignore which direction these are facing at the moment. And I'm going to try and eyeball how much space we're going to... I think that would be enough space. So if they went like that around then that would mean our cargo stand on the other side could be that sort of far out. Okay. Yeah, we could even have a third on there, couldn't we? How would that line up? Yeah, that's not quite straight with that one, is it? Which is a bit of a shame. So we could use the Move It mod, even though they're both right up against the side. I'm going to use the Move It mod and line these ones up with these two over here. So let's do that. We've got all the nodes selected. In fact, if I connect those two together, that will just give us a little bit of an, a little bit of a help. Yeah, here we go. That's lined up perfectly straight to me. Very good. So ideally, what I'd like to do is have this also over here as well. But of course, we've already got our roundabout set up over here, which is taken away some of our space. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to delete that road there. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but how far out would that be? 1320, so that's going to be to there. And then we can line these up as well. I think that looks pretty lined up to me, doesn't it? Again, don't worry about which way the taxiway is all facing, and I think that's something we're going to work on. Okay, okay, excellent. Oh, that's quite good. So then we've got 12 aircraft stands in there and then all they need to do is hook up to this don't they so anybody coming down here so let's just work this one out so they've come in they've landed they've come here uh they want to come in this way so what we're going to do is we're going to go like that like that so they can come in this way we'll turn these around there we go and then they want to head back out again to take off there we go. And then we've got this one here, which I'll tell you what we're going to do. We do that that way. So they come down here and they just want to get in this stand. They can go straight across, uh, which might be a good idea if we do that opposite each stand like that. So they don't have to go all the way around. Yeah, that works out okay, doesn't it? And then this one over here, I'm just wondering whether we could do the same. So they come in. Should we add a secondary way to get across here like this? I think that actually work out. That might work out better. And then that can come in here. Oh, auto save. Quit sip of tea. I might just move this road back a tiny touch or move this one out this way a little bit. Just depends if the wings clip just there. There we go. We can have that going across and then that can come out and then they can go back in here and take off. How does that look? I mean, we could just... Yeah, we can't do that to line it up there because that's... Unless, 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 unless... If I did that, if I grab the Move It mod... Okay, I think we're there. Let's just grab these nodes. Yep, that's okay. That's lined up. I just redrew it in again and managed to get it lined up. I think that is all okay. That's looking all right to me. So they can come in, they can take off, they can land. We've got plenty of space in there for cargo planes. Uh, all we need to do now is get this set up. Uh, and I'm wondering whether we could just sort of bring that round to over here instead and have this as a connection to up there. Um, I don't think we need to use this great big road here to connect over there, do we? So let's just pick something else. Um, something with no parking. I mean, there we go. How's that going to go? That should be okay. You can go in both directions, in and out. That should be okay. And then we'll come off the side here and connect up to this one up here. There we go. Something like that. So we've got the secondary access. That is a very thin road, isn't it? We'll see how that one goes. You might be able to change that one. Okay. So that is that section set up. And then I want to have in here our train lines now from my understanding it's not going to use both of these lines and that is just the way that the game works at the moment because there already was dual sort of cargo uh, station setups like this on the workshop and they never worked how they should so what i'm going to do 
is I'm going to sort of merge these both into one line. Where are we coming in from over here? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to end up merging one of these into... Uh, both of these into one line. Like that. And then this side over here. I'm not quite sure where that's going to run to. Because we do have... Hmm... We've got, we've got our main train line here, and it does split off. So this is all passenger. This one comes under here and joins our Bentley big setup thing that we haven't used yet. But then we do have our cargo line, which is separate. I don't think it's actually separate around here. We've got a few branches. Yeah, this is just the main line in and out, I think. It just, it just connects to everything. So let us just see what we can do to get across over here. That is pretty tall, isn't it? Let's just lower this down a little bit to a more reasonable height. Yeah, I mean, something like that will probably be okay. And then we'll get that the same height as this one. There we go. And then this here. Man, this is like a big old slope down, isn't it? Let's do straight slope there and see what that looks like. <laughs> that might just have to do. And then we want to connect this up. And I'm just wondering whether... We get this a little bit closer here. Just wondering whether to use one-way lines here just to try and connect this up. So it's going out on the right. So we could have this one come in here and the left one duck underneath and come up. Let's let's see. Let's see what we can do. So if I bring that one to there. Yeah, something like that. Let me just uh, fiddle around with the movie mod and get this all a bit tidier. Right, there we go. I think that looks okay. Nice and neat, nice and flat. There's plenty of room to get under there and join up. And then I'm just wondering whether over here uh, we could force this to do... I don't know whether this is going to work. Like I said, this the, the way this is sort of set up is a little bit odd. But I'm wondering whether we could do this. We could make um, this a one-way in, the other way around like that. Which way does that come in? And then that a one-way out. Nope, it's the other way around. Nope, that still hasn't worked there. What is going on with this one here? Let's draw that in again. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Drew it in by hand and no problem. Um, let's just remove that node there. I'm just going to use the Move It mod to slide down a little bit closer. Yeah, so I'm trying to sort of force a one-way system here. So if they come in there, then they'll need to turn around to come back out here again. I don't know how successful this is going to be, but let's see what we can do. There we go. Excellent. So you can come in there, turn around and leave over there. And that just might, uh, yeah, get both sides done, add a little bit of interest in here as well. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we haven't done any decorating or anything like that, which, wow. Why the heck has it got all of that added? It seems to be taking... No, it isn't. It started from scratch. There we go. That's fine. This is one star. That makes much more sense. Um, we don't really need to do that one. Don't really need to do the maintenance one. So I think it is basically just seeing whether this is going to start working. Oh, darn it. What have I got in there? I've got some sort of stop in there. Oh, all sorted. It was a monorail line. So we're fine. Uh, of course, now we need to put in water pipes for all of these. There we go. And, of course, they need an electrical link. Um, let's just see. For now, I'm going to bring that into there. And then we're just going to put a couple of temporary ones over here just so we can get that all hooked up and working. There we go. Everybody should be happy. Yeah, excellent. All right, good, good, good. Oh, man, we've got water coming in down the side here. And I feel like I wanted just to change the shape on this a little bit i thought i heard a plane coming into land um okay let's just pause a second we are going to just maneuver this just a little bit i 
hopefully that's okay that the guys will come along and clear all the water up it seems to be going already excellent that's good so let's just do a little bit of detailing around here i feel like we've got some spots here that we could fill in uh, with concrete we'll do that uh, i feel like these should all be filled in as well we do of course have a couple of parked cargo planes um so we could just add those maybe over the side here we'll have like one there maybe one there just to add a little something something we could also add some of these up here as well maybe along with some large hangers where could we pop some of those in we could maybe utilize some of this space down here yeah i'm just thinking of course we'd need the runways uh the taxiways to come around here so this would need to be a way in like that and that would need to be a way out and then we could sort of run this around here and decorate that as well this could be sort of maybe a spot oh i'm messing up the land again this could be a spot where they come in if planes need fixing up or something like that they could come along here um oh dear let me just smooth this out <laughs> as it should be seem to be having a few electrical problems here i think it is just a distance thing we're going to pop this up to 110 percent and see whether that helps we're making a lot more than we're consuming so i don't see why this should be a problem there we go excellent everything's coming to life yep very good very good we need to just connect this up over here and we're starting already to get the cargo trucks coming in which is what we want to see i'm going to change the road at the end here definitely we want an asymmetrical road coming into that roundabout like that we've got two lanes coming out i'm quite happy to have the one lane going up there let's just check that this is set up yeah so this is give way coming in which is good that'd be interesting to see oh the trains are working already we just half saw one going around a loop we're getting a little bit of lag on the game at the moment i believe there's an update coming to help with that oh that's good they're not crossing over there i think it's something to do with taxiways and things like that it's been a bit of a bit of a discussion in the modding community yeah i feel like we need like a little turnaround at the end here let's do that and then we'll just set this up with our lane connectors so it's literally in and out and then here as well i don't want them turning round. so i'm going to say you have to go forward and i think that should be okay then they'll go all the way around and go back again we want to try and set this up in such a way oh there we go look we've got a train appearing that we really try and limit any places where the cargo is going to get the cargo trucks or whatever is going to get in each other's way oh nice that is going to go round and back out again oh man things are pretty pretty jumpy aren't they i'm wondering whether i have put the no parking ai back on again that was something that was causing issues before but at least we know this is working anyway we've got to wait to see if we're going to get some coming in what we can do we can test that if we click on here itself and look at the traffic route view so we can see everybody coming in and dropping off cargo nothing coming from the outside yet yeah they're joining up here okay what i'm going to do here they're probably just going to totally ignore this but we're going to say give way there and everybody else goes straight through I just want to check that this does go to the outside. I can't remember how we've got all this set up. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, so we're allowing both sorts of trains, cargo and passenger, on all of these. Okay, yep, so they could come in there quite easily. And then come through here and come off down here. Okay, well that's working. Lots and lots of trucks turning up down here as well. So let's just watch what they're doing. So they're coming to the end, driving off the road, dropping stuff off at various places. 
There we go. Excellent. He's dropping off. Is that a mail truck? Let's have a look. It is a post truck. There we go. Dropped it off. Now he's leaving. Excellent. So it's just waiting now for the water to subside and <laughs> for some planes to arrive, which would be fantastic. Uh, something I've also picked up from the workshop. We're not going to use it today. But down here, we now have an airport tram station, which hooks on uh, to the concourses. Here we go, like these ones here. So you can go and grab that. I've also got the Better Planes pack by Bis Quicklehausen. And I'm just wondering how he's got these things set up. If I search for plane, I want to find some plane props that I can just drop in. Mm, let's grab that one there. So if I placed, for instance, that there. Let's come out of this view. Use the Move It mod. Can I then make that look like that's in there? I can. Look at that. That is exactly what I want. So if I do that one like that, so these things aren't overhanging, that just fits in fine, doesn't it? What if I grab the other one? Let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So now we can make these look like there's actually planes in there, which is really cool. Well, that might explain why nobody's coming down here to drop their cargo off at the airport. Of course, when you've got uh, no roads attached and you do the control shift, um, this one here, control shift left click for a setup for a roundabout, it will do this past the nose, these straight lines. And then later on, if you had a road, you've got to remember to take those away. So let's do a control left shift click setup. So now people can get in here to drop more stuff off i don't know how these other people were getting in here i'll be honest i think they were an exception to the rule uh, we've also downloaded a couple of other things uh, we've got these jet props from bisquicklehausen uh, which are from the better planes pack number three cargo expansion so these are some planes that we can sort of pop in around the place uh, let's just maybe pop it there and then we we'll use the move it mods and it's not allowing me to go there, which is rather weird. All right, do you know what? I'm going to put it here instead. I don't know why it's not letting me do that, but there we go. So we've got those. And also, we've got some tugs, which are fantastic. Some of these little props, they're from... I actually got these from Avanya's uh, hashtag Monday Mods 2020 Airport Special uh, little list. And these are made by Blue Thunder. Uh, so we can actually add these in underneath here to make it look like they're pulling the planes in and out so we've got that one there uh, this one we're not going to see under there are we what about this one over here uh, let's go for this one there's probably like a special way of doing this all right i'm gonna do it like that is that gonna let me put it in here something isn't right that should whoa what's that oh we've got a plane taking off who's this guy here i've missed him entirely our first cargo plane Yay! Came from the cargo aircraft stand in here. This one. Excellent. We know it's working. Why I can't move this asset to be on top of that. When I've got anarchy on. I've no idea. How about prop anarchy? Oh, there we go. It's almost like I've not played the game for so long with mods. Which is actually true. Because you've had so many problems with mods. That is going to connect up to there. That has got that one going there. I mean, we could even add like another one being brought round to go in. There we go. He's bringing him in over there. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Excellent. Right. Oh, let's see what's going on down here. Now we've actually let people able to come in. So we've got this weird sort of turning around thing going on at the end here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the Move It mod and I'm just going to back this up couple of these like this just so it's a little bit further away yeah it's a shame they don't stick on the road but there we go and no traffic down here either this is going pretty good so how are these going in here so they're going in that side oh and then they're coming out the other side i had no idea that's what they would do ah it's a good job we put this little turn around roundabout thing here isn't it nice okay and i'm just wondering whether we could just adjust the little lanes that are going on here if we go control shift left click there we go so now we've got a dedicated lane for that so ideally this could do with being more lanes coming through here for sure 
which means I'm hoping I'm not going to break this thing. So what I'm going to do is use my network multi-tool to unlock uh, this road here, which I think is just these ones. And that one there, we'll do that one as well. Let's find a four-lane small road. We've got this one here. Uh, and coming out. Hmm. And then how are we going to get this to work? Because I bet I'm not going to be able to add lane connectors here, which is a real shame. Yeah, like this bit here. If I could add a lane connector, I would tell them only to use a certain lane, but... We're going to have to just trust the way the game works, I think. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to upgrade that and that. And then this is going to become two. There we go. Excellent. And then we'll just leave the rest of the AI. And this down here. Yeah, where this is coming out, this part, from here onwards, only needs to be like an asymmetrical road. So let's just have a look at the nodes that we've got. So we do have a node right there. Okay, so let's find a road and change that one up. So, one plus two. Yeah, there we go. So, we've got the two going that way, the one coming out. What about that one there? That one lines up a little bit better, perhaps. Yeah, and then when the one comes out, it goes that way. I think that's probably the best we can do. I was wondering whether to make this an asymmetrical road to match up with that. Do you know what? Why not? Let's do that. There we go, and you switch this one for this one. We get this nice little bit of detail here when they come in, and they can spread out to the two lanes. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now, I would like to add a fence all the way up here, and I'm just thinking I could draw that in, or I could use this tool in here, which adds, there we go, a parallel. So if I go from there all the way up to there, yep, it's adding it on the wrong side. So let's just remind ourselves, switch side, okay, excellent. And then plus and minus to change the offset. There we go. Perfect. I want to get that right up close. Yeah, like that. Enter. And I think... Oh, that is just... That is just perfect. And then we can sort of monkey with this little bit at the end to line it up. Yeah, I'm looking at this now thinking we need to have this key go all the way around here. I actually think that would work much better. So I'm just going to delete this along here. There we go. And I'm just wondering whether I could also... Come on, delete, delete, delete. Whether I could use some tools along here as well, which would work out quite well. So if I get this node here and just bring that back ever so slightly, like this. There we go. I think that looks... Whoa! They're coming in to take off. Excellent. I think that looks much, much better with that sort of fence detail around there as well. I'm liking that. I'm hoping that this water problem will sort of just go away. Eventually, eventually. So things are really humming along nicely at this airport, which is absolutely fantastic. We're not getting clogged up with traffic, although getting onto this roundabout is a little bit difficult. But I think that's because we've got people crossing over. The, I don't, whatever, whatever. It's not backing up, so it's fine. This is keeping moving. And this is keeping moving, which is good. Um, and yeah, we've still got that little bit of stuttering. I was just having a chat with city planner plays and he's been getting it as well and he said if you replace all the taxiways 
with taxiways i mean we've got other ones haven't we available to us that we could use then like these uh now that's the airport dlc one where's the other taxiways that i downloaded didn't i download a load oh it wasn't in this save was it it was in something else but anyway there's taxiways available on the workshop you replace them all perhaps use a mod like ron uh, replace our networks i think it either does it on load or beforehand or whatever those planes are coming in quite close over there then it will solve the stuttering but i'm sure uh colossal order paradox know about it and it will get fixed um i just wanted to do a little something over here so let's just clear out some of these trees that we've got going on i just want like a small little refueling station in this space over here i'm uh, just having a look at the shape of everything i think do I want to move this down if I grab that node and that node just to give a little bit more space and I'm going to grab oh we need to make our area bigger and of course that would have removed the trees and I've got to be careful of the land I think that would be okay so I'm going to grab this and we're going to sort of make this uh, oh save the rock can I grab you you can go over there pride of place excellent so if I bring this sort of down here and then go across come on like that that should be okay and i want to put in here let's have a look are we fueling thingamajiggies thingamabobbies you know the stuff i mean uh these there we go i want to put a couple in here so i'm going to anarchy that in there and there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the movement mod just to move that a little bit closer just got to watch these arrows down here don't get too close there we go they fit in there okay take up less space i think that'll be okay let's just get rid of some of these little bits of stuff that are overgrowing there excellent let's pop in some water pipes there we go power should be okay yep yeah, all okay um and then yeah just filling in some of the detail here we'll grab our pavement whoops game jumped and i've got pavement everywhere excellent that's okay and then maybe just sort of close this off with some more fencing as well and i might just draw this one in by hand actually i'll tell you what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some fencing in along here using this tool again and then i'll draw the rest in by hand <music> I'm just looking at this area here and thinking we really need a toll road in here, don't we? To sort of signify that sort of security type thing that we were doing before. I'm just wondering whether I could just squeeze one in here. Where are the darn things? Here we go. What's the smallest one? Two-way toll booth. Oh, man. I don't think we're going to have space for that down there. We could add it here and have that cover this whole area because all of this around this road is only coming into all of this and then have another one over here as well just on these two and uh, let's see what that looks like yeah i think that'll be okay going through there um and then of course we've got this access in here as well i also want to put on the policy if we haven't got it on already of wi-fi not wi-fi what's the one called automated toll there we go reduce toll booth income by 30 percent but it, they don't slow down as they go through so that would work a lot better uh, we also need to just hook up some power there for now uh, we also need some power over here i'm just going to put a temporary thingamabob over the top there excellent but then also we've got access coming through here as well uh, and we've got this yeah, this doesn't actually go anywhere, does it? So I'm just going to remove this down here. Let's change that for this road. There we go. So the monorail comes up to there and stops. And then that just gives us some room along here. Might just need to slightly change this road to get this to fit in. Yeah, there we go. I think that's okay. And then we can just add that up to there as well. Make us a little bit more money. There we go. Just a couple of tweaks as well. I've just got the lines going straight through so they don't change lanes in the middle here. I've also got keep going through on both ends over there as well. That'll be good. Just need to do the same over here. And I've also just upgraded the speed. That one's already going. 
Yep, that's fine. And we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Then I'm just changing the speed on this because it slows down to half the speed um, as to what's on there. And I think that is going to work much better. Uh, you can go straight through there as well. Excellent. I've just got the fence going up to there. I'll draw some more fence in all along the back here a bit later as well. And yes, we do have... A lot of trash to be collected. I've been asking about this. Is it a problem that the trash never gets collected? Well, apparently, I mean, this is how the mods always work. So if you've got like a park entrance or something, which is the main building of an area. So for our cargo airport here, this cargo airport terminal is the main building, of course. All of these other buildings are going to be making trash. Well, I think most of them anyway. And it all gets... Uh, collected into here and then this is where it gets picked up so there could be depending on the size of your airport a lot of trash to come and collect so depending on where your trash services are how far away they are and how good they are that is why you will be seeing that trash sign there all the time we obviously could do with a little bit more garbage collection so here's the nearest one all the way over here waste transfer facility maybe we need our own waste transfer facility down here. Can I squeeze one in just down here somewhere? There we go. That'll do. That'll probably help this area and any other building we're going to be doing around here as well. So don't forget, if you've got a cool name for our airport, let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and be back here on Saturday for the next Blighty on the Wold, our UK slash British theme city. Thank you very much for all of your support. Have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.